The ABCs of Willie's favorite Atari 2600 games is brought to you in part by Arcade USA, the Atari 2600 Game by Game podcast, Brett Stutz, Jeff Ron, the Encom Corporation, Future Control Industries, the letter T, the number 5662, and viewers like you. Thank you. End of line. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the ABCs of Willie's Favorite Atari 2600 Games. Today is brought to you by the letter T. T for... Ta -ta Tron Deadly Discs. Oh yeah. Now back when the Tron movie came out, I was really stoked about it. Uh, I still love that movie to this day. And one of the scenes I remember in the movie was the scene where uh, Sark is talking to everybody about their identity discs. And it shows Tron battling some of the guys in this little plus kind of sign formation. I thought, that'd be an awesome video game. Well, of course, you know, Mattel Electronics came out with a deadly disc for the Intellivision. I remember seeing it at a demo kiosk. Loved that game. Not long after that, M Network, Mattel released a version for the 2600. Of course, I had to get it, asked for it for my birthday, and I got it as part of a two-pack. It came with uh, Adventures of Tron, and it came with a joystick as well. Unfortunately, I don't have all that stuff anymore. I still got my joystick, and I've got Tron Deadly Discs here, but I don't have Adventures of Tron anymore, and I don't have that box that everything came in. Because back then, I didn't really think about keeping stuff. I just tossed boxes, and things just disappeared. But oh well. I have some really good memories of Tron with my big brother. Uh, not long after we saw this movie, him and I, we got into a habit of going out in the backyard and running around and throwing frisbees at each other as we made the bzzz noise. Uh, my brother, being a lot older than I am, about 11 years or so, he could throw a whole lot harder than I could. I ended up with a lot of bruises most of the time. <laughs> But hey, it was a lot of fun. Really fond memory of doing that with my brother. So let's take a look at what came in the box, do some gameplay, and I'll get my final thoughts on the game. Oh yeah, here's the box for Tron Deadly Discs. M Network boxes were kind of cool. They're very unique. You can definitely pick them out off the shelf really fast by the way they're designed. I kind of like how M Network designed their boxes. They're pretty nice. Especially when you look at them on the end. I love how they got the like the full color label right here. Pretty cool. Classic Tron image of him throwing the disc for Tron Deadly Disc. Pretty awesome. On the back gives you a screenshot of the gameplay, which does look like the screen, which I give them kudos for that. They don't mislead you at all what you're getting. Pretty cool. And it's for one player with two skill levels, based on the Tron movie from Walt Disney Productions. Oh, yeah. So, okay, inside the box, we got... Of course, the ever-present and wonderful instruction manual. Now, these came in different different uh, print styles. They had like the full color one here, which is the one I love. And they had one that was black and white, which I don't like so much. But I like the manual that came with this one because it's all in full color. Really nice looking manual. Goes through the game, how to play it. Looks at the different enemies. You can start with the light green warrior, which are the easiest ones. When you get up to the gold warrior, forget it. <laughs> They're going to derez your butt really fast. Very challenging game, which is probably why I like it so much. Pretty straightforward. You basically try to avoid the discs coming from the enemy guards while you try to destroy them. You can block open the doors around the play field for you to warp through and prevent more guards from coming in. Pull the manual a little bit more. It talks about the difficulty switches, how you can fire. You actually have to shoot in the direction that you're running. That's the only bad thing about this version of the game. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I like the Intellivision version so much, is I could be running one direction and throw the discs, the disc back behind me another way. Which, you know, that, that's a real great element of gameplay when you could do that. But this is just as fun. I have a lot of fond memories of playing this. Also, you get like a neat little catalog. I love these M Network catalogs. It shows all the different games that you get. I like how they're all lined up in a row. Like I said, they look nice all lined up. And they made a lot of good ones on here, like 
armor, ambush, frogs and flies. Oh, I love that game. Astro Blast, love that. Space Attack, like that. Oh, Lock and Chase, another favorite. Because on this side, you can see some screenshots of some of the new games that you get. Space Attack's a lot of fun. So is Lock and Chase. Astro Blast is really good with a paddle. Really fun game to play with a paddle. Pretty awesome. Now, as I described earlier on in my Adventures of Tron video, I got this as part of a two-pack for my birthday. It came with this as part of the package. A Tron joystick for the Atari 2600. This is freaking awesome. Now, now, I love playing the Tron arcade game. I actually played the arcade game before I even saw the movie. Uh, mainly because my brother entered me into a competition. I think it was in the early 80s, maybe early 82 or something. At Aladdin's Castle. And uh, he drove. He took me two hours away to the nearest Aladdin's Castle for me to play in this tournament. Didn't do very well, but boy did I have a blast. Loved that arcade game. And when I got this Tron game for my birthday... And I got this joystick. I was in seventh heaven. I thought it was so cool to have a Tron joystick for my Atari 2600. It actually works quite well. I, I use it every once in a while. I try to use it sparingly because I'm trying to keep it nice. But the joystick's pretty nice. You can wind up the cord by turning the handle. If I do this, I can wind the cord back up for storage, which that is awesome. It's a very well-designed control handle. Suction cups on the bottom to stick to the top of your desk. Just go thunk. Move this all the way. Thunk. And it stays put quite well. Not bad. Get off it. Oh. Gee, but Christmas. Pretty cool. All right, so let's give the game a try. Oh, yeah. Coming for you, Sark. Oh, before we go play the game, I forgot to show the cartridge. <laughs> So here's the cartridge. It's plain black. It says Tron Deadly Discs across the front here. Nothing really special. These don't stack very well, which is the only bad thing about these, but they're pretty cool looking. So now, let's go play the game. Oh, such a dumb willy. Okay, let's see how well I do with Tron Deadly Discs. I haven't played this game in quite a while. I love the sound effects of this game. Gotcha. I used to play this game a lot on the Intellivision on the demo kiosk at Service Merchandise. Absolutely love this game on the Intellivision. Still do. And I was pretty stoked when M Network released a version of this game for the 2600. It was definitely one I asked for for my birthday. And I got it, which is cool. Whoa. Try to work some more of these doors. Oh yeah, two for one. Awesome. Oh, a door and a guy. Here we go. Got the doors open. Da, 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 da. Whoa. Oh. Got hit. Now oh, I'm a purple guy. Oh, got hit again. Oh, jeez. The upper levels, they get a little... uh. A little crazy. Oh! Whoa. Go through the door. Boop! Hello! <laughs> Ooh, I can barely see those guys. Try to hit them on the angle. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I can't believe I missed him. Ooh. Oh, come on, come on. Get him. Oh, just make it. Whoa. There we go. Got that guy. Missed that guy. Oh, let's get the door open. One more. Yeah. <laughs> Victory is mine. Oh. oh, get the door open. There we go. Oh, missed him. That close. Oh, shoot. That close and I missed him. Couldn't believe that. 
There we go. Oh, throwing two at a time, huh? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Whoa, they got me. Rats. 5,445 points. Love this game. So awesome. Well, let's give some final thoughts on the game and uh, look at two of the runner-ups I picked. Wow. I still love playing this game. It's so cool. Uh, I don't know what it is I like about the Tron Deadly Disc game. Even the 2600 version, I really enjoy playing because that's one I really have the most nostalgia for. But now that I have it on my Intellivision, I kind of play it on it more because it has a little bit more to it, which I find a lot of fun, especially with that special controller my buddy Paul from the Intellivisionaries made me. But anyway, we're talking about the 2600 stuff here. So what are a couple runner-up games? Well, my first runner-up game is Time Pilot. I love arcade ports, as you know, to the 2600. And Time Pilot by Coleco... It's one of those games I, I love playing in the arcade, and when it came out for the 2600, I definitely picked it up. I think I got it as part of the CBS uh, mail-in thing or something. I can't remember if it was part of the CBS club or not. Memories are really fuzzy when you get my age. Love playing that game on the 2600. Still do. Still a pretty fun game. Very challenging for me. Of course, I can't play games with it on anyway. A second runner-up is Trick Shot by a Magic. I know. It's just a pool game that you're shooting, you know, pool balls to make these trick shots. But when I was a kid, I was just fascinated with this because it demonstrated some type of physics and stuff. Made you think how you're going to shoot that ball, how much force you're going to put on it to make the trick shot. And you had like 10 different shots you had to make. And it gave you a score of how many you did complete. Well, as I'm playing the game, as you see up here, this little TV up here... It's towards the end, and I'm not doing too well. You know, I've only got like one completed trick shot or two. <laughs> well, I still enjoy playing the game. So, what are some of your favorite Atari 2600 games if you have the letter T? Did you like Tron Deadly Discs? Or about the two runner-ups I just mentioned? Comment down below. Let me hear from you. Be interested to read what you guys think about these games or some of the other T games that you're interested in. Anyway... Thanks for watching.